Hi there. So this is the second video for the first lesson. I'm just going to show you how to do the integration in your calculator. Because we can graph it and find the area, but there's another way as well. So what I do is uh, in, the, in menu 1, press F4 for math. And then there's nothing on that set of menus, so press F6. And you can see an integration sign. So press integration, and it gives you the limit. Now what's important here is you put the equation in that you haven't integrated. So the minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. That goes in there. And if you press right, it should take you to the lower limit, which was minus a third. If you press right again, it takes you, or twice actually, takes you to the upper limit, which is 1. There. And it gives me the 32 over 27. So if you do it graphing, you get a decimal, but if you do it on this, it gives you the proper answer. Right, so let's have a look at method 2 now. So method 2 says integrate them individually. So what am I integrating then? So my top curve, I've looked, I'm still going to do top and still going to do bottom. So my top curve was the minus 2x plus 2. So the integral from minus a third to 1 of minus 2x squared plus 2, the x. So this is the top one. I'm just going to use my calculator straight off for time. So integrate minus 2x squared plus 2. Press right from minus a third. Press right off the, to get off the fraction. Press right again to get the 1. That gives me 160 over 81. There. And then I'm going to do the bottom one now. So that's the integral from minus a third to 1 of x, was it x minus 1 squared? So x squared minus 2x plus 1, the x. So integral x squared minus 2x plus 1. Press right, so I've got minus a third. Press right, again, 1 there. Gives me 64 over 81. Then the enclosed area, let me move this down a little bit. Then the enclosed area is top, say bottom. So it's 160 over 81 minus 64 over 81. So what's that? 96 over 81? Something like that. And that's going to cancel down to 32 over 27. There you go. So we've done it by hand and we've also done it by calculator. If it's only worth a couple of marks and doesn't tell you to do it by hand, you should be fine just writing it in straight into your calculator. Any tests we do though, make sure you show the working. Right, let's have a look on the next page. So the next page is integrating e and integrating 1 over x. So what do we know? If we integrate e, it stays the same. If we integrate 1 over x, it becomes log x, because this is a, the reverse of what we did previously when we were differentiating logs. So that's all right. So, oh, that's it. Surely that's it. No, that is absolutely it. There's some questions there for you to have a go at. Uh, so that's fully complete and understand pages three to five. <laughs> right, okay. That's it. We're done. Well done, everybody. Bye bye.